Well, you can be a classic reporter, but you just have to add this one thing, which is it used to not be the case um, that a president and so many people around a president would look at you and literally give you an alternative fact that is, in fact, a lie. Um, we need to do what we've always done, which is call things correctly. And in this case, it means sometimes using the word lie, and it means sometimes saying, you know, the president said this, that's not true. This notion that people can say whatever they want, and you present that as one argument, and then you make that the equivalent to another pushback, that paradigm does not hold for this particular administration. But the notion that we are supposed to tell you objectively you know, what is verifiable, what matches the historical record, and what doesn't. That's always been the case. It's just what comes out of that now looks a lot different than it did in previous administrations. Does it feel right now, unlike in history or at any time before, that, the, that democracy is being strained? I think, yeah, I think so. And I think what we're seeing, we've always known this, but we haven't had a test quite like this. Democracy's hard. You know, democracy requires people to um, be more high-minded than they're often inclined to be. And we all have a responsibility here. You know, I think one thing we could learn from this juncture, and I really hope we'll learn, is that it is important to be attentive and it is important to be informed. And too many Americans, too many Westerners take their democracies for granted. Um, and that could be something really good that would come out of this. More people are uh, engaged in the media, reading news coverage than were before. Um, I like that not just because that's important for the coffers of the New York Times. I like that because it says people are inquisitive in a new way, and it says that they are um, on guard in a new way. And you should always be that way if you're the citizen of a democracy, because that democracy is only as strong as your participation and your level of information.